okay dear students uh, today we are going to start a new lesson on uh, from this uh, supplementary reader that is uh, you know you might, must be knowing snapshot okay you have two books as i told you in the very beginning there are two books uh, one is hornbill another is snapshot right so hornbill is our main literature book and snapshot is the uh, supplementary reader there's not much of difference uh, only uh, with the name uh, because uh, with snap from snapshot also uh, sizable um, number of questions comes so it's better like uh, don't neglect it okay uh, it's the same as in terms of its gravity in the examination almost identical uh, marking has been given okay to both the books so uh, that is the first uh, we are studying the first chapter of that book which is snapshot so if you do not have the hard copy you can please purchase it it's it's very cheap okay so uh, you can purchase from uh, gachandur or if it's not available there you can purchase it from amazon or flipkart okay or any other platform where it is available right so dear students today we are going to start the lesson new lesson that is called summer of the beautiful white horse okay from the very title you can understand that this lesson is about a beautiful white horse right a beautiful white horse so let's see what is this lesson all about dear students right so dear students let's begin the lesson today so here you are one day back there in the good old days when i was 9 and the world was full of every imaginable kind of magnificence and life was still a delightful and mysterious dream my cousin morad who was considered crazy by everybody who knew him except me came to my house at 4 in the morning and woke me up tapping on the window of my room okay so dear students as you can see here the narrator is talking about he is cousin morad okay the narrator is talking about and it's a first person narrative because it start the uh, about uh, morad here who was considered very crazy by everybody okay uh, who knew him except me came to my house early one early morning at 4 o'clock can you imagine one early morning at 4 of 4 o'clock morad came to the uh, came to the narrator's house and woke him up tapping on the window of his room aram he said so we get another name here aram so aram is the name of the narrator and the name of his cousin is morad right aram he said i jumped out of bed and looked out of the window i couldn't believe what i say i couldn't believe what i say uh, so it wasn't morning yet but it was summer and with daybreak not many minutes around the corner of the world it was light enough for me to know i wasn't dreaming and what is so was something amazing to him it wasn't uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't morning yet but it just little bit of it is a dawn it is it's day is breaking uh, slowly but because it's 4 o'clock in the morning so what is so was something which was amazing what is that my cousin morad was sitting on a beautiful white horse right beautiful white horse and you know how how costly is the horse how difficult it is to go on a horse back okay or go on a ride on horse back it's very difficult it's very costly also so anyway uh, that is why maybe the narrator wasn't so much confident uh, i mean um, he was so uh, he he became so much surprised okay uh, it was an amazing sight for the narrator uh, you know to believe that his cousin morad can sit on a horse back right i stuck my head out of the window and rubbed my eyes yes he said in armenian it's a horse you are not dreaming make it quick if you want to ride yes he said in armenian 
Yes, he said in Armenian, it's a horse. You are not dreaming. Make it quick if you want to write. So we can understand from these two sentences that the narrator, the narrator, uh, I mean, narrator's cousin Morad has come to take the narrator, which is Aram, uh, outside on a horse ride, right? Next. I knew my cousin Morad enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake, but this was more than even I could believe. I knew my cousin Morad enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake, but this was more than even I could believe. So now the narrator gives some information about his cousin Morad. Uh, He said that I knew my cousin Morad enjoyed being alive more than anybody else who had ever fallen into the world by mistake. Uh, but this was more than even I could believe. So Morad was very practical in nature. It is this is what uh, you know the narrator is saying. But whenever he could see Morad with the horse he could not believe he could not believe just could not believe because it's very difficult to manage a horse or to go for a horse ride it's very costly and moreover those who are very rich can own a horse right in the first place my earliest memories had been memories of horses and my first longings had been longings to ride so for children it's a dream come true like dream come true to go on a horse ride so the narrator was also uh, dreaming of a horse ride, but now it's in front of him, so he can't believe. This was the wonderful part. In the second place, we were poor, right? So they were very poor. See, the narrator says that they were very poor. So for a poor boy like Morad or Aram, to go for a horse ride is like a dream, dream come true. This was the part that wouldn't permit me to believe what I saw. As they were very poor, that is why it was difficult for the narrator to believe uh, what he saw okay, in front of him uh, with his uh, cousin. I mean, uh, be, uh, his, cousin with a, his cousin with a horse is something that is unbelievable to him. We were poor, we had no money. Our whole tribe was poverty stricken. Every branch of the Gargolanian family was living in the most amazing and comical part in the world. Nobody could understand where we ever, uh, where we ever got money enough to keep us uh, with food in our valleys, not even the old man of his family. They did not know where the money would come. They didn't have any fixed in income, it seems. Most important of all, we were famous for our honesty. So they were very, very famous for their honesty. That is very important characteristics, dear students. Okay, remember that they were famous for their honesty. And it is very important uh, to be honest, right? It's very important to be honest. We had been famous for our honesty for something like 11 centuries. Even when we had been the wealthiest family in what we liked to think was the world, we were proud first, honest next. That is something which is amazing. Okay, you can see, this, uh, he said, we are proud first, honest next, and after that we believe in right and wrong. Right? He said, we were proud of being honest. We were proud of our race, then honest, and after that they believed in right and wrong. Once they were, of course, like he said here, we had been famous for our honesty for something like 11 centuries. Okay, even when we had been the wealthiest family in what we like to think was the world, for 11 centuries they were famous for uh, their honesty, and at that time they were wealthy also. Okay, they were first proud of being Gargolanian. Then honest, 
then they believed in what is right what is wrong means they had lot of conscience okay they knew that what is right and what is wrong okay and what is dear students uh, I, i i remember a beautiful quote from uh, kushwan singh ji uh, he said very wonderfully uh, once i remember his book uh, remember his book uh, where he has written uh, he said what is morally wrong can never be administratively correct okay or administratively right what is morally wrong can never be administratively right so what is wrong is something which is, what is wrong everywhere it cannot be right it cannot be claimed right by anybody okay so as a responsible citizen even we need to judge what is right and what is wrong we need to be able to do what is right and not do what is wrong right so that is something what we need to learn that is something what we as responsible citizens of the country future of our country you should learn to be morally right right you should not do anything that is morally wrong you should do everything what is morally right none of us would take advantage of anybody in the world let alone steal okay let alone steal we cannot think of stealing they are saying we even did not think of taking advantage of anybody we did not even think of taking advantage of anybody any time in future right forget about stealing he is saying we are the are a gargalanian tribe um, you know who were known for their honesty uh, for centuries right then we were morally right we were very much honest we could never think of even taking advantage of others forget about stealing we can never think of stealing forget about stealing consequently even though i could see the horse so magnificent even though i could smell it so lovely even though i could hear it breathing so exciting i couldn't believe the horse had anything to do with my cousin morak or with me or with any of the other members of our family asleep or awake so with this statement dear students asleep or awake because i knew my cousin morat could not have bought the horse and if he couldn't have bought it he must have stolen it and i refused to believe he had stolen it because because it is difficult dear students for the member of a gargalonian family to steal something it is difficult to believe because they have been known for centuries together to be honest they are very proud of their race they are very honest and they could never think of stealing anybody okay so that is why he was very much surprised right he was very very much surprised yes omkar thank you uh, you can go through some of the motivational books okay then you shall learn many things dear students like uh, one of them is let me write the name of ravin sharma dear students you can go through his books ravin sharma okay you can also go through the book of shiv khair they are motivational writers dear students okay so if you go through uh then you can go through the books of what young india wants by chatan bhagat yes uh, omkar i have already recommended some of the books uh, you can please go through them uh, like uh, ravin sharma's book all the books of ravin sharma are good uh then uh, sheep cares book then what young india wants by chetan bhagat 
uh, you can go through okay uh, so the onkar and others what i uh, recommend all of you is uh, you see there there is discount uh, always uh, you know like in uh, amazon okay so from amazon why don't you buy the hard copy okay please buy the hard copy there is a very nice book dear students called who will cry who will cry when you die by ravin sharma dear students you can go through this book okay you can buy this book uh, one dvd comes with this book dvd for meditation and all that it's a very nice book by ravin sharma right and uh this book what young india wants by chetan bhagat this book also you can uh, you can go through uh, you can buy these two books together who will uh, cry when you die and uh, what young india wants so these two books together you can buy from amazon and uh, you can read don't read the soft copy read the hard copy dear students because uh, these books are uh, very good these books are like assets okay um, and another book uh, is very important for all of you that is called the secret uh the secret by linda somebody actually i forgot and i'll tell you tomorrow i'll confirm it or i can see here and uh, tell you also no i can see here and just uh, hang on for a while i am just giving you information yeah this is the book the secret by ronda byrne okay so please go through this book this is very good book so you can buy this three books one after another okay you can buy uh, first you read what young uh, india wants by chetan bhagat then you read who will cry when you die by ravin sharma then you read the secret by ronda uh, byrne okay so dear students these are the three books you read uh, till my august to finish these three uh, three books till august 31st you finish these three books dear students then i shall give you the names of some more interesting books okay so because uh, if you go through the books dear students these books then you shall get a lot of tips about how to manage yourself and you shall also get a lot of information about uh, what is going on in india like uh, what young india wants by chetan bhagat Uh, he has written this book very beautifully so you can go through this book to be able to know uh, what as a citizen as a young uh, citizen of india what you are supposed to do for the country and what your country is going through so this book is very important for you and uh, from ravin sharma and uh, ronda's book uh, you can learn uh, how to manage yourself okay what you should how to manage yourself how to become a brand value and all that okay so uh, these are the don't simply write the story books okay read non fictions don't read fiction much because it is time for you to uh, mold your personality to build up your personality it's time for you to build yourself right so i think self help books are very important okay so these are self help books like ravin sharma like linda like sheep care uh, so they are very very uh like uh, inspirational and uh, if you want to watch youtube inspiration inspirational so i like him very much his name is dr vivek um uh, vivek vindra or somebody vindra or something this uh, watch him on youtube okay dr vivek vindra okay uh 
another uh, motivational leader is there uh, i forgot his name i used to watch him oh yes ah uh, yes yes, yes. Uh, i might have told you before also his name is gorgopal das so watch the both yes 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 vindra yeah uh, might be might be uh, uh vivek vindra yes and was uh, watch both uh, on youtube right and dear students these from these two dr vivek vindra and from uh, dr vivek vindra you'll come to know many things like uh, what uh, like uh, general information you'll come to know uh, and uh, like general knowledge and all that he will give you and uh, gopal das ji will give you uh, how to manage yourself self help and all that okay and uh, if you want to improve your knowledge of uh, current affairs uh, then dr vivek vindra is there of course and then you can also um, watch him uh, dhruv rati you can watch right uh, so anyway uh, so please do some uh spare some extra time in order to upgrade yourself dear students okay like a computer requires upgradation like a, a software requires upgradation hardware requires up upgradation likewise human beings also requires uh, require upgradation okay so how to upgrade yourself you can upgrade yourself by bringing about a change in lifestyle right you bring about a change in your personality by bringing about your lifestyle uh, bringing about a change in your lifestyle like uh, wake up early in the morning then you do some exercise to uh, become uh, physically fit then you can uh, go through these extra books that i have recommended you then you study be sincere and consistent in, uh, with your studies do not waste time in playing games on uh cell phones or on uh, pcs do not play games this is a waste of time okay instead of uh, instead of uh, you know uh, playing games if you can uh, if you can uh, spare your time in writing uh, something for your website or something for your blog that will help you to develop your writing skill then you can earn money out of this in future right so instead of wasting your time in uh, playing games or uh, in social networking sites it is better you spare your time uh, in learning some new skills right like how to develop a website how to build up a website how to build up an app um, or you can say how to you know, be a blog writer you know, how to uh, like enhance your knowledge of current affairs so that you can also write uh, start writing and earn money so think about learning new new skills every month okay omkar and others uh, please do uh, learn new new skills learn video editing learn video editing okay learn how to make podcasts learn how to make uh, audio editing okay um, like uh, uh, you know there are many softwares with the help of which we can also edit our audio edit our videos so learn these new skills uh, website designing graphical designing uh, then all these are very much important uh, now in nowadays okay so please spare your time in learning new skills okay okay thank you now let's go back to our lesson a no member of the garganian family could be a thief i stared first at my cousin and then at the horse there was a pious stillness and humor in each of them which on the one hand delighted me and on the other frightened me so the students uh, actually it was very difficult for uh, the narrator aram to believe that his cousin morad can appear in front of him with a horse with a horse because they were poor and horses very costly uh, he can never buy it number one he can also never steal it then how could he get it therefore he was staring at his cousin then at the horse 
there was a pious stillness and humor in each of them right pious stillness they became still silent and humor in each of them which on the one hand delighted me and on the other frightened me okay uh, frightened because if he has stolen them uh you know it's difficult like or if he has somehow managed it like if he has stolen it from somewhere then it's a uh, their consequence will be bad so they are means uh, uh, that is why he was very much uh, tense actually the narrator was tense mora i said why did you steal this horse even though uh, the narrator knew that mora cannot steal but still he is asking him for double checking it okay so he is trying to double check it where did you steal this horse leap out of the window he said if you want to ride leap out of the window he said if you want to ride it was true then he had stolen the horse there was no question about it he had come to invite me to ride or not as i choose so then at some point of time he thought that morad must have stolen it then because when the narrator asked morad where did you steal this horse then he did not reply he said leap out of the window if you want to ride it was true then as he did not protest as, as he did not say on or or, uh, or say anything in argument no i did not steal the horse um uh, for that reason the narrator was making some assumption that he must have stolen the horse right well it seemed to me stealing a horse for a ride was not the same thing as stealing something else such as money for all i all i knew maybe it was in stealing at all so now something else kept coming in his mind what is that something else you see he thinks it seemed to me it seemed to me stealing a horse for a ride was not the same thing as stealing uh, something else so he thinks that uh, stealing money will be uh, stealing money is something more more punishable you can say or more uh, like serious than stealing a horse that is what comes in his mind now he is thinking it seemed to me stealing a horse for a ride and that also for a ride only not permanent stealing if morad has stolen if morad has stolen the horse just for a ride then according to uh, the narrator it may not be considered to be a stealing because they are going to return it to the owner soon it is not the same as stealing money stealing money is more serious okay than stealing a horse for a ride for a ride is important dear students okay so now narrator thinks that it seemed to me stealing a horse for a ride was not the same thing as stealing something else such as money for all i knew maybe it was not stealing at all if you were crazy about horses the way my cousin mora than i were it was not stealing and then he tries to justify the uh, uh, justify the work of uh, justify the work of mora saying that um, as mora than i are very much crazy about as mora than i are very much crazy about uh, crazy about our horse owning uh, sorry riding a horse therefore if mora has stolen it just for a ride then i don't think it was a still a stealing because we are going to return it it wouldn't become stealing until we offer to sell the horse which of course i knew we would never do and then he says it wouldn't become stealing until we offer to sell the horse that is why he now he can see he changes uh, he is thinking in a different pers uh, from different perspective he is thinking that uh, like stealing something uh, it is it cannot be called stealing because uh, he is not going to um, sell the horse therefore it cannot be called stealing it it could would be called stealing only if he offered to sell the horse but as he is not selling the horse as he has stolen the horse for the time being for some time only for a ride therefore it cannot be called stealing that is that is what uh, now the narrator has come to 
think okay let me put on some clothes i said all right he said but hurry i leaped into my clothes i jumped down to the yard from the window and leaped up onto the horse behind my cousin morad that year we lived at the edge of the town on walnut avenue behind our house was a country vineyards orchards irrigation ditches and country roads in less than 3 minutes we were on olive avenue and then the horse began to trot the air was new and lovely to breathe the feel of the horse running was wonderful my country more uh, cousin morad who was considered one of the craziest members of our family began to sing i mean he began to roar okay so as you can see here they've started like morad is uh, riding the horse and the narrator is sitting at the back and uh, they are having a ex wonderful experience as it is mentioned here the feel of the horse running was wonderful every family has a crazy streak in it somewhere and my cousin morad was considered the natural descendant of the crazy streak in our tribe crazy streak in someone's personality it is their dear students with everyone uh, you might be having some crazy characteristics in your uh, in your in your character okay so likewise uh, here morad uh, uh, you know like aram that is the narrator says that morad had some crazy characteristics in his uh, in his character okay so everyone in their tribe has sorry everyone in their tribe has some crazy characteristics that is what uh the narrator says here right uh before him was our uncle khosro and now the narrator will give example of their uncle khosro who was also having some crazy streak in his personality see here an enormous man with a powerful head of black hair and the largest mustache in the same joan valley uh, uh same jokin valley a man so furious and tempered so irritable so impatient that he stop anyone from talking by roaring it's no harm pay no attention to it so his uncle morad uh, sorry khosro uh, he had a crazy characteristics in uh, in him what was the characteristic his crazy characteristic he used to often say to people it's no harm pay no attention to it whatever might be the situation whatever might be the circumstances he used to often say to the people it's no harm pay no attention to it okay he always used to repeat this okay so that is the crazy streak in his personality okay in the personality of koshro right now you see that was all no matter what anybody happened no matter what anybody happened uh, to be talking about once it was on uh, his own son arab running eight blocks to the barber shop where his father was having his mustaches trim to tell him uh, their house was on fire this man khosro sat up uh, in the chair and roared it is no harm pay no attention to it the barber said uh, the barber said but the boy says your house is on fire so khosro roared enough it is no harm i say okay so you can see how uh, crazy was uh, uncle khosro when his son went to tell him uh, in the barber shop that his uh, their house was in fi on fire and he said pay no attention to it it is no harm pay no attention to it so can you imagine how crazy he was okay his uncle khosro so every gargalanian family uh, every gargalanian tribe member has some uh, crazy streak in their you know character right so one of them is uh, uncle khosro and one of the examples is also given about khosro's uh, uncle khosro's crazy streak right my cousin morad was considered the natural descendant of this man okay natural descendant of this man that is khosro although morad's father was jorab who was practical and nothing else that was how it was in our tribe a man could be the father of his son's flesh but that did not mean that he was also the father of his spirit okay that is very interesting and very nice sentence dear students a man could be the father of his son's flesh right but that did not mean that he was also the father of his spirit it means um uh, it's not necessary that my son will get my characteristics although he will resemble everything physically or although there might be many 
uh, common thing between he and me in so far as uh, physical features are concerned but uh, you know when it comes to inner spirit he might be completely different from me okay in terms of characteristics in, my, in terms of qualities he might be completely different from me so this is exactly what he is said here by the narrator the distribution of the various kinds of spirit in of our tribe had been from the beginning capricious and vagrant okay uh, what he meant to uh, you can take a note of these words capricious vagrant vagrant capricious okay it means that the narrator means to say that every member of gargalonian family has different different characteristics okay they are not similar that is what he means to say we rode and my cousin morad sang uh for all anybody knew we were still in the old country where at least according to some of our neighbors we belong we let the horse run as long as it felt like running so they were enjoying together okay uh, allowing the horse to run as long as they it could okay so dear students uh, we shall uh, stop here today uh so dear students we shall stop here today uh, before you uh, leave please do text me p so that i can take your attendance okay dear students please do text me p so that i can take today's attendance thank you so much for being connected to me and tomorrow we shall finish or wind up this lesson thank you dear students thank you so much uh, yes 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 thank you thank you tomorrow we shall wind up and uh, please do please do uh, order at least one book this month okay uh, what young india wants you can order from amazon okay uh, it is not available i think free of cost it might be available digitally but uh, when you are paying for ebook why not you pay for the hard copy of the book 